tonight we're going fish gigging in Estero Bay, Florida. We'll be targeting sheep's head, mullet, black drum, stingray, anything else that we can find that's legal to hunt. Tonight we're using Sea Light 20 inch LED light bar. As you can see right here, these lights have a flood pattern on the outside edge. To let the light really disperse and, and go out to the sides of the light and out on the side of your boat. And then the center lights, as you can see here, have a really tight beam, a tight spot beam pattern so they can get a long ways out in front of you. So this is really great when you're running. You can see a long ways out in front of you and make sure you're not going to hit any uh, stumps that might be sticking up, any floating logs, any floating debris that may come by. And then this floodlight's really great for when you're running a little bit slower and you're having to make those decisions, turn left or turn right to go around things. So it's a really great light and a great addition to the boat. So in addition to our 20 inch light bar here we've got, we've got these four 27 watt LED square lights. Now I've, I built these on a three quarter inch EMT that I bent custom for the front of this War Eagle boat. And uh, I've got some wing nuts here on some ground down carriage bolts that go in the inner rail of this boat. So this is not bolted into the boat. You take it on and off, it's a really easy application. I've got a real simple plug here that I've got for the boat. So this is something that's great. It comes on and off really quick, really easy. And these lights can be adjusted to point forward or they can be pointed straight down. It's a really good application for these lights. I use this during duck season. I can get out to my hole and I can point these in any direction. And I can see my decoys, see my setup. I can stand right here and I can cook my breakfast on my dog stand. As we were gigging tonight, these were pointed straight down in the water. This is a really sweet application for these lights. So as for interior lighting in my boat, I've got a rope light that goes right here under the gunnel on the right side of the boat. I don't have one behind the, the gun box because I know when I open the lid it's going to block out any light. And I also have a light that goes right here underneath the lip of this seat rail. As you can see throughout the night we're really using these lights to, to get the fish in the boat and measure them. It's very helpful. I jabbed him, there wasn't no bouncing off of that. I got him. And when I hit him, he didn't move an inch. He just paralyzed, I hit him so hard. We swung him in a boat and he didn't have a tail. I've never seen one without a tail. Which is cool because there's no chance of him stinging us. I really love going down the beach and uh, just going real close to the breakers and seeing so many snakes. I mean, we probably saw hundreds of snakes out there and that's that's just a sign of good healthy water, uh, good healthy snook population, and I just love seeing that. We had one sheep's head tonight that I spotted him from a little bit of distance away, took my time, got him right in the back, pulled him up to get him in the cooler, and he came off the shaft. Tried to find him in the dirt, spotted him again, gigged him again, and got him in the cooler. Two, two shots, and 